In this video I'm going to model an image that I found on Google. If you want to download the image, link is in the description. All the plugins that I use are in the description. Let's start. Delete the cube and add a cylinder, set the vertices count to 16 and go to edit mode and rotate 90 degrees in the X axis. Select the center faces and inset it, then do bridge edge loops command. Go to wireframe mode and delete the lower half and the left side of the cylinder. Select the bottom edge loops and press F to create face. Select the lower face of the cylinder and extrude it on the X axis and flatten the face by using machine tools or scale it on the X axis. Select the outer edges and bevel it. Use the scroll wheel to increase the number of loop cuts. Now let us clean up the topology. Select the two opposing vertices and press 2 if you are using machine tools or just press J key to connect the vertices. Add a cylinder and scale it on the X and Z axis by pressing S for scale, then press Shift plus Y to scale it on X and Z axis. Select these faces and inset it and press B for boundary. Connect the middle vertices of the cylinder by pressing 2 if you are using machine tools or just press J key. Then delete the other half of the cylinder. Select these three faces and do a bridge edge loops command. And delete the inner faces to avoid mesh artifacts. Add a loop and do a bridge edge loops command. And again delete the interfaces to avoid mesh artifacts. Go to object mode and add a mirror modifier and a subdivision surface modifier by pressing Ctrl plus 2. Select these faces and inset it. Make it circular by using loop tools. You should enable loop tools add-on to use this feature. Go to edit and preferences and select add-ons and search for loop tools. Scale the circularize faces in X and Y axis by pressing S for scale followed by Shift plus Z. Then set the faces to add support loops and scale it on the z-axis to add some flavor to the circle and do a bridge edge loops command.
Select the center faces and inset it and do a bridge edge loops command. As you can see we didn't delete the inner faces and it caused some mesh artifacts. So go and delete the inner faces. Now it's time to add support loops. And we are done. Thank you for watching.